An anonymous sent a question saying, what is the ruling on the regular white discharge of a woman? Does it break her wudu? And does she have to change her undergarment before praying? This is an issue of dispute. The vast majority consider such vaginal discharges of women to be pure and that she does not have to wash or change. The issue of dispute is whether it breaks your wudu or not. So the vast majority of scholars say that finding it does not impact your purity. So it's not like urine, it's not like um, mevi, it is not najis in, in nature. Now whether it breaks wudu or not, it's an issue of dispute. The vast majority of scholars say that it does break wudu. Ibn Hazm and some other scholars said that no, it does not break wudu because women at the time of the Prophet والسلام, used to suffer from it as it's a natural thing and no one ever reported that it breaks wudu and this is continuous and it would be, it impose a lot of hardship on women to tell them that you have to perform wudu every time you find this and thirdly those who say that it does not break wudu they say it's like sweat it is not coming out from a place of impurity. Rather, it's coming from a place that the child comes out from, which is, uh, in a sense, not najis. So with all these reasons and others, these scholars who went against the vast majority of scholars say it does not break wudu. And this is what I'm inclined to the opinion of making it easy for women as there is no solid proof that it breaks wudu and it was never reported. So we know that answering the call of nature breaks wudu. We have information and authentic hadiths about istihada, which is the blood that runs after the period of monthly uh, uh, menstrual cycle and how to deal with that and how to perform wudu for every salat for that and we never heard anything in regarding the issue of vaginal discharges which means that inshallah it is uh, uh, it does not break wudu and if a woman wants to be safe rather than sorry and she performs wudu for every salat she wants to perform after the adhan, then she would be safe and no one would say she is wrong. But again, the vast majority say that it is not impure. So there's no impurity on her clothes and she does not need to change that and Allah Azza wa knows best.